Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I want to welcome you here to Carrie Grace. Okay, so today's video is going to be a massive deep cleaning video. I am going to be cleaning so many things. It is getting close to Christmas and I wanted to give my house a good clean before I start decorating. So I'm going to be cleaning carpets. I'm going to be cleaning my couch right now. I'm just kind of folding some laundry. My laundry room was a mess and I kind of needed to get a handle on some things. I'm going to be, um, you know, changing sheets, just lots of things. So I hope that today's video gives you lots of motivation to get some cleaning done in your house. So like I said, right now I am just folding some laundry. I've got a few little things that I need to do to kind of get my day started and actually not my day started. This is just the cleaning portion of my day. If you are new here, I am a homeschool mom and most days I homeschool till about mid-afternoon and then it is time for me to get some things done. And this video did not all happen in one day. This happened in about four days. Because like I said, I'm a homeschool mom and some days my kids need more attention than others. So sometimes I have a little bit of time to clean. Sometimes I've got some larger chunks to clean. This little mini cleaning project is really just a case of one thing leading to another. I came in here to put my kitchen towels away. I didn't really have room for all of them in the drawer where they normally go, so I was going to clean out a space under the kitchen sink. And then I realized I had kind of a mess. So it looks like we had had a little bit of a leak, but I think it's kind of fixed itself. So I wanted to get this container cleaned out and put things back neatly so that I could put a few towels down there. So I just did a little bit of straightening up while I was there. One thing that I like to do is if I see a mess, I try to just clean it up then if it's not going to take a lot of time. Now, I don't always do this because sometimes if I'm like doing something where I ne really need to focus and get back to what I was doing, it can, you know, cause a situation. But this day I had a little bit of time, so it just made the most sense to just clean, take the few minutes and get this cleaned up and straightened up. My big bottle of Dawn hangs out right back there in the back of the cabinet. And while I was down here, I went ahead and got it out so that I could refill my kitchen soap because, you know, I'm trying to get all the little things done. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Alright, so I want to show you a couple of things that are extremely rental friendly when you're talking about organization. I found these shelves at Target. I believe they were $29.99 a piece. You can kind of get an idea about how big it is. This is an Instant Pot. This shelf, you take it out of the box, you unfold it, it goes together like this little shelf. All the shelves, they come, they come up and then they rest on these little hooks. And then this shelf will hold 75 pounds a piece. You guys, these things are super great for maximizing storage when you're in a rental. We rent this house and so I can't add more shelves, like permanent shelves. So I've been trying to find a solution to share with y'all that would work for me and be super rental friendly so that I could share it with y'all. But this is a great place to hold like appliances. My husband, he puts his lunchbox right there and then we've still got room on the bottom to hold water and now I don't have a bunch of dead space in my pantry all right so let me show you another place that this is useful this is 
my dining room. And you can see right here, I don't have room for much furniture in here, but I got the same shelf. It is a black metal shelf, super sturdy. And this is just giving me a nice place to hold a few things. So I've got a plant. I've got my husband's grandmother's dishes. This is her soup tureen and, and then a canister. And then I've got a place to put all of my cookbooks. And y'all, I need to tell you about these binders. They're super nice. They are gonna hold up very well. And I'm getting all of my recipes organized in here. I got a bunch of recipe books and these are gonna be the only ones that I'm keeping. I'm getting everything into these binders and they are beautiful so if you don't have a place to put them where they are like covered up you need them out i think that pretty binders are the way to go so you can see i don't have a lot of room in here but i did have a little room for something and it's just nice and small and it does what i need it to so it is great for a rental house all right so the other storage solution that i want to show you that is perfect for a rental house are these cubes from Target. These come in all different kinds of colors, but they're perfect because they're super versatile. Depending on what kind of shelves you have, like if you had wood shelves or something that you needed to be really careful with, these are great because they're fabric and they're not gonna scratch things up, but then they're great in a laundry room. You can put them in a closet. You can put them just about anywhere. And so these are great for a rental house because they're not expensive. You can find all different kinds of little tags to label them and things like that. So I just wanna make sure you guys know about these. They're great in closets. They're great everywhere. All right, so the next thing on my list today is to clean these fans. These fans in my bathroom, I happened to look up one day and was like, oh my goodness, these things are disgusting. We have tall ceilings in our bathrooms, which we have never had before, and I just really haven't looked up. So, like you can see, they are a mess. Now, a couple things. I got my vacuum, I put the like extender on there and used the brush, and I vacuumed and vacuumed and vacuumed, and it took forever. I kept having to take breaks, I didn't show that in the video but I seriously had to keep taking breaks because it was making my shoulders hurt so bad. I also didn't film the whole thing because it just took a ridiculous amount of time. So next time I have to do this, I will wait until my husband is home and have him pull those things down for me. I probably could have done it, but I was scared I was gonna break them and I will just have him pull them down and I will wash them and I will not go this route just because it seriously hurt my arms. <laughs> But if you haven't looked up in a while and checked your fans in your bathrooms, this is your reminder to look up, check those fans. If they're dirty, clean them. They probably need it. They did clean up very nicely though. As you can see, there is no more dirt because all of the dirt is right here in my vacuum. This vacuum was clean before I did the fans, so that is disgusting. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I want to do a deep clean on my couch using my uh, carpet cleaner. It's a carpet and upholstery cleaner. I have never used it on my couch. We have had this couch for about two and a half years now. It's kind of a light color. It's like a cream and there's actually a little bit of brown in it also. And I am going to, haha, <laughs> there's my vacuum, but um, my robot vacuum. But I'm going to vacuum the couch first and then I will get out my carpet cleaner and we're going to do this. I have never done this before, so we will see how it goes. Um, mainly I'm just vacuuming to make sure that if there's any like crumbs or whatever, that I get all of that up. I did realize after the fact that my uh, upholstery cleaner does have like a vacuum attachment. So I could have actually vacuumed it with the thing with the upholstery cleaner but really this was just so simple and it just made sense to me to do it this way jumping from cliffs so high trusting our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground i 
falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep All right, so when we got this couch a couple of years ago, we pretty much made a rule that there would be no eating or drinking in the living room. Now that's kind of always been a rule with my kids. They don't eat or drink in the living room. I will do it on occasion. My husband will do it on occasion, but a lot of times I will actually take a blanket and lay it down underneath me just to make sure that I'm not making a mess. But as you can still see, we definitely still had some crumbs and things like that, which is totally normal. But I want to know, let me know in the comments, what is the craziest thing you have ever found in your couch? I was trying to think about it and I can't really think of anything crazy. I mean, I found like the random sock and a remote and like a you know, like a quarter and a, like a hair tie, things like that. But I don't know that I've ever found anything crazy. But if you have, let me know down below. I also wanted to mention that I am working in sections because I don't want to get the cushions all mixed up. Several of them are kind of the same, like the back cushions and the bottom cushions. And I just didn't want to get them all mixed up. So I'm just kind of doing one or two at a time. And that seemed to work pretty well. High, even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. So the machine that I'm going to be using today is the Bissell Revolution Pet Pro Carpet Cleaner. Now this thing will clean carpet, it will clean rugs, and it also has an upholstery attachment. And I am going to recommend that if you do not have a way to clean your carpets in your upholstery that you get one of these machines. They are wonderful. I have been using this on my carpets, on my rugs, and then like I said, today's the first time I'm using it on my couch. And I was kind of amazed. You'll see at the very end that the water that came out of my couch was very dirty and I was very surprised. I'm not really sure what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting it to be as dirty as it was. Now, this machine is super easy to use. I have never really used a carpet cleaner before. Okay, maybe like once or twice, but it's not something that I used to do regularly. And now I can't imagine not having a carpet cleaner. It cleans my rugs beautifully. It does a great job on the carpet. And I find this to be very relaxing. I could sit here and clean carpets all day long. Now, let me say that on my couch, I only did the bottom cushions like where you sit. I had planned to do the whole thing, but my shoulders were hurting so bad that I really just had to stop. But basically, you just kind of go over it and then you go over it again without pushing the button and it sucks out the water. So you'll see in certain sections if it felt or if I felt like it put out a lot of water. Then I did several passes to kind of soak up that water. I did this about 12 o'clock in the afternoon and it was dry by, you know, this evening or that evening once my husband was home after we were, you know, done with dinner and everything and he was ready to chill out on the couch. The couch was dry. So it really did dry pretty fast. I didn't have any stains on my couch or anything like that. I just wanted to give it a good clean. And I also just used the Pet Pro solution that you can purchase to go with it. I had the Pet Pro one because when we moved into our house, the people before us had a dog. And so I just felt like that would be the thing to do. The carpets weren't really stained bad or anything like that, but um, I still have a ton of that solution left. So that is what I'm using. And the house smells so good when you use your carpet cleaner, like so, so good. Looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before the sun goes 
Look at all of that lint that is in the upholstery tool. I was amazed. All right, so right here you can see that I've got some nice lines on my couch. And basically I just, you know, let this thing dry and it looked great once it was all dry. This is the dirt that came out of my couch. Y'all, I don't even know what to think. I feel like that's really dirty for a couch. So maybe I need to do this more frequently. So I just get that dumped out and then we are going to move on to rugs and carpets. So I'm gonna do the rug here in the living room. I didn't move the couch and do the whole thing. I did do the whole thing when we moved in in April. It's now December and now I kinda of just wanna do a quick clean for everything. I am using the Express setting and what that does basically is it doesn't use nearly as much water. So your rugs and carpets, they're gonna dry much faster. And I like to just kind of do this every so often because I feel like it keeps everything nice and clean and I'm not having to wait, you know, hours and hours for my rugs and carpet to dry. And like I said, it smells so good when you use the carpet cleaner in your house. Right here, you're going to see that the machine tries to kind of pick up the rug. And really, that's just because I should have been standing on that corner. These are kind of small rugs. And though it does a good job, you do have to be a little bit more careful with a smaller rug. But I do find that just kind of, you know, standing on it closer to where you're going makes it so that it's not that big a deal. Okay, so here I am in one of my son's rooms. I am not moving furniture again. I'm just cleaning the carpet it's just a very quick clean and like I said this is very relaxing to me I could seriously do this all day long I didn't film in this room but I did clean the carpets in my older son's room and it just it really did such a great job in there okay so now I am in our master bedroom I'm gonna go through do the carpets in here I want to know do you have a carpet cleaner is it something that you use regularly or if it's something that you don't have is it something that you have considered purchasing I just kind of never really felt like it was something that was necessary in our house in Alabama we only had carpet upstairs and we never wore shoes at all upstairs the carpet was put in brand new we had the carpet put in and so I don't know we just never really we never cleaned the carpets up there because they just never seemed to need it I just always vacuumed very regularly but like I said when we moved into this house the carpets needed to be cleaned and you know I could just you tell that my rugs needed to be cleaned and so I decided to make the investment and it's something that I am super super happy with and it's also a lot easier to use than I thought it would be one of the reasons that I picked this specific machine is because it did rugs and upholstery and I didn't want to have two separate machines there are some smaller machines that you can use for rugs there's a smaller one that you can use for just upholstery but to me it just didn't make sense to have two separate things so that is one of the reasons that I went with this one specifically
so moving into the kitchen I am going to clean these two rugs and let me tell you these rugs can get pretty filthy the red one it is not machine washable so I have cleaned it several times with this um, and then the little gray rug it did not like the carpet machine and the biggest reason is because well I don't really know but it's also very hard to just vacuum that rug so it's really just the rug it's not really the machine however use my little foot trick if you you know are doing a smaller rug put your feet on the corners so that you have you know something to hold it down as you move the machine and it will work so much better now there's a couple of rugs that I didn't film because my battery died but I did also clean the rugs in front of doors in my hallways like at my entrances I've got one at my front door and then also one at my garage door and I did clean those as well and they always clean up beautifully they're very nice rugs and they clean up really well all right so after I finished these rugs here in the kitchen I started noticing a few little chunks of just like lint and things that were getting left behind and so I decided to pop the cover off and clean all this out see how gross that was there was so much buildup in there because I have you know done the whole couch and I have done most of the rugs and carpets and now I am moving on to the very last room this is our office I don't know that I've ever really shown this room but this is my favorite one because there's not a lot of furniture in here and so the carpet lines at the end they are so good like this room was so satisfying I enjoyed what cleaning these carpets so much look at those carpet lines they're so good okay so this isn't actually the last room I forgot that I did go ahead and do the dining room rug now I do want to apologize because my camera is crooked I had it right and I think I bumped it when I walked off and then I just didn't look back and realize that it was crooked so I do apologize for that but this clip isn't super long but you can still see me cleaning the rug and this rug is a thin rug it doesn't really have a pile to it and it still works really great I wasn't sure how the carpet cleaner would work on it but it does great it does a really good job so I was very pleasantly surprised with that say something meaningful say something I don't know I want to know you better the way that you talk to me Way that you make me feel I don't know if you're real I wanna put you in that spotlight looking at you all right so the express clean doesn't use as much water now you can see this water is pretty dirty I expected it to be dirty because I was cleaning rugs and carpet but because I use the express clean it doesn't extract a lot of water because it doesn't shoot out a lot of water so anyway the next thing I do is I like to make sure that all of my parts are super clean I give them a very good clean and then I usually just pile them in a laundry basket and leave them in the laundry room so that they have plenty of time to air out before I put them away okay the next thing is my shower cleaner I get so many questions about the ratio that I use to make my shower cleaner I use regular white vinegar blue dawn and some water I do not measure anything you can see there was a little bit of stuff left in this bottle this is just an old recycled method bottle and I'm just gonna add to it I just knew that I didn't have a lot in there so I am adding about that much vinegar then I'm going to grab my blue dawn and I'm going to add you know just enough this is not a recipe this does not have to be exact you definitely want more vinegar than Dawn the Dawn what it does is it helps the vinegar stick to the glass or stick to the shower surface so that the vinegar doesn't just um, like fall down and then I add a little bit of water because to me this mixture is a little bit thick 
and so I like to just add some hot water to it and kind of thin it out a little bit instead of adding more vinegar and this works just fine for me and so that is how I like to do it I just kind of give it a little bit of a shake and this is how I clean my glass in my shower now I'm gonna go in my shower I'm going to spray all of the glass down, all of the tile down, everything down, and then I'm going to let it sit. And sometimes I let it sit for 20 or 30 minutes. Other days I will let it sit for an hour or two while I work on something else. And then I will come back to it. I'm trying to show you how dirty the glass is. It's not really picking up that great on the camera, but I'm telling you that glass was terrible. And this mixture, gets rid of all of the spots it's wonderful all right so as I'm spraying my shower down you may notice that we changed out our shower head we used to have one of those square rain head shower heads and we didn't really want to change it out because we are renting this house and it just didn't seem like it was worth doing but we finally just decided to change it out I didn't like the water pressure I didn't feel like it rinsed out my hair very well and it was such a pain to clean this shower without having a handheld shower thing so today is the first time that I am cleaning my shower with the handheld shower head and I am so excited because I know that I am going to be able to do this very very quickly oh you make me feel fine wanna look at all right so right here you can see that that dawn dish soap is really helping the vinegar to just stay put on the glass it's not just running down that way the vinegar can stay on the glass and do its job okay so I've waited some time this is a little bit later and now I'm going to finish cleaning the bathroom I've got this shower cleaner well not shower cleaner but it's a bathroom cleaner and I'm going to spray it on the sinks I didn't do my sink because all of my products were in there and then I'm going to spray it in my toilet bowl and then let it sit for a little bit and while that sits I'm going to clean this shower so I typically do this really just whenever I'm taking a shower but for the purpose of today I'm going to get in here I'm going to just scrub everything down I use just a regular blue sponge on the glass not the scrubby side just the regular sponge side and then I have a brush that I use like around the corners and in the grout lines and on the tile and then down on the bottom of the shower and so I just rub everything down very well and then I rinse it and then the biggest thing with glass and tile is you want to dry it really well so once everything has been rinsed really well I'm gonna take either a microfiber cloth or a washcloth or something and wipe it down to get rid of the excess water and then I'm gonna take my e-cloth polishing cloth and wipe it down again now this is gonna leave my glass super shiny I'm not gonna have any spots I'm not gonna have any streaks and then sometimes I will do it on the tile as well just to get rid of the moisture and then I use it on the chrome faucet and it gets rid of all of the spots it is wonderful so if you do not have a polishing cloth from eCloth I highly recommend them because they are so good they are great at getting rid of streaks and spots Till my lungs give out your beautiful Put 
So all of my stuff is put back in the shower and I can tell you that that is for sure 100% the fastest I have ever cleaned that shower and now I am not going to dread doing that. So I'm very thankful for that handheld shower head. All right, so now I've got my ink cloth and I'm just wiping down my mirrors. They weren't really that dirty, so I didn't really use any product. I'm just wiping them with this cloth and it is making them nice and clean. And now I'm just going to come in, I'm going to do my sinks and I kind of am using just like a brush around the, uh, the, uh, drain. And since all my products were out, I had sprayed this sink. So I'm cleaning this sink as well. I want to put you in that spotlight. I left my soap out on the counter. I didn't put it in the shower because you can see that I need a new bar of soap. And when I went to my kid's bathroom to get soap out, they were using the bathroom, so I had to wait. So I left it right here so that I didn't forget. It's so aggravating to get in the shower and only have a little teeny tiny piece of soap. So anyway, now I'm going to clean my counters. I'm just moving in the, everything off and now I'm going to use this method daily granite cleaner I like to use this last I like to just spray it on there let it sit for a minute and then wipe it off all night I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful I was out of toilet bowl cleaner, so I just used that bathroom cleaner from Microban, and I just spray that on there and let it sit, and then I just clean the toilet bowl out with our silicone toilet brush. Now I'm just grabbing a piece of toilet paper because I'm going to do the outside of the toilet. I like to wipe it down with a little bit of toilet paper first. That way, if there's any dust, it just kind of picks it up and doesn't smear it around. So once I've removed the dust, then I'm going to just spray everything down real quick and wipe it down. Now I do clean our toilet just about, maybe not every single day, but probably every other day. And because I do it so frequently, I usually do just use the Mrs. Myers. The main reason is because we have a wood toilet seat. And if you put anything super harsh on there, it stains it and like really just kind of discolors it. So I try to just clean it frequently and not use super harsh chemicals. Now you can see my cord tipped over my toilet bowl brush, but the good thing is I had put it in the trash can, so I ended up not having a mess. All right, so I vacuumed. Now I'm gonna use my mop to do my baseboards. I kind of flip up the ends and my mop is wet and I use that on the baseboards. I like to do that in the bathroom and in other rooms and it makes cleaning my baseboards so much easier. And again, because this is a deep clean, I decided that I wanted to do the baseboards. I actually did them throughout the house. I just didn't film it, but today is the day that I was doing the bathroom. So I decided to show that to you. All of our floors are tile floors. We've got regular tile floors in here. Then we've got tile floors that look like wood in the living areas. And then we have carpet. But on all of my tile floors, I use my O-Cedar mop with a teaspoon of Tide powdered laundry detergent and really hot water. That's something that I learned from 
an account on Instagram. I'm trying to think of the name of it right this second. Uh, what is it called? It's called Go Clean Co. I don't know why that wasn't coming to me. All right, guys, so I want to show you one more thing that I've started doing that has been making a big difference. Um, when we get the mail, <laughs> I tend to have things that I can't just file right away. Sometimes I've got papers that I kind of need to refer back to, and I'm just not great at filing things right away, which is a lot of it just has to do with like where the office is. My kids are usually in there doing school, blah, 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 blah. So what I have started doing so that we don't have piles is I have gone back to using a basket with file folders. And what I try to do is when the mail comes in, I go ahead and open it. I mean, I do, you know, trash the things that are just trash junk mail and stuff like that but things that i need to kind of look at again you know maybe throughout the week or whatever i have started putting them in the basket in these folders but there's a catch my rule is i have to process this stuff every friday so at the end of the week i go through these folders and get all of these things put away so that things don't pile up if you don't give yourself a deadline to get things done it's real easy to put them off. So this has been working really well. So I just kind of wanted to show it to you. I have also kind of started keeping like a planner and notebook and things like that right here in my kitchen. Again, we do have an office, but I tend to just stand up here in the kitchen and do things. So this is just working really well. And it's kind of just in this corner, kind of tucked away. So I just thought I would show it to you. All right, so here is my little corner. This is just a basket that I already had got a recipe tin here and then I found these file folders on Amazon I don't have them labeled yet simply because I'm still kind of trying to decide what my categories are so I'm just kind of waiting but this has been really good it's helping me with piles and then like I said I kind of keep my planner and a couple notebooks that I use regularly I keep them just right here out of the way you can see the rest of my kitchen I've got plenty of space to you know food prep and all that stuff and what happened was I kept piling things here and it was always in the way like my planner and stuff so having it over here in this little corner a lot of times during the day my planner is open right here these are things that I'm like about to put away but anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there, these file folders. And I will say that if you can make it pretty, I feel like that makes a big difference. A basket, I feel like it's pretty. I got pretty file folders. These were very inexpensive. I found them on Amazon. I've got them in my Amazon storefront. But you could use, you know, regular file folders, just whatever you have. But again, because it's in the kitchen and out, I just wanted it to be pretty. So anyway, just a little tip if you're struggling with your paper clutter. All right, so the last thing that I'm going to be doing is getting the sheets on my bed and remaking my bed. This was actually another new day. This was actually Thursday. Thursday is always our clean sheets day, so I clean my sheets and my kids' sheets, and it's really my favorite day of the week because it's just always nice to sleep on fresh sheets. Okay guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I feel like this has been a rather long cleaning video for me, but I really wanted to do some deep cleaning before Christmas and I wanted to share it with you. Cleaning your house before you start decorating for Christmas is such a good idea. I know everybody doesn't have the time to take and do it, but if you do have the time, pick out, you know, three, four, five, six things that you really want to deep clean before you get all of your Christmas decor put up and just get them knocked out. Here in just a minute, you're going to see me hang up my shower curtain liner. After I got everybody's sheets cleaned, I went ahead and threw the shower curtain liner in the washing machine with a Clorox tablet to bleach it and I have been trying really hard to do this once a month so that it doesn't get gross and doing it routinely really has made a difference so make sure that if you have shower curtain liners that you are washing them. 
All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below. It would mean so much to me. I like to post lots of different videos here. Usually I have cleaning videos. I have home decor videos. Um, I have get it all done type videos planning videos, things like that. I like to talk about anything that has to do with the home and cleaning and organizing. All right, thanks again, and I will see you guys soon.